uh, here with Tegan Yali, uh, Warren Fitzgerald native, uh, graduate, just All-American uh, from Campbell University, uh, finished, finished eighth at uh, 285 pounds. Today, how do you feel you know, overall about the tournament and uh, you know, your performance this weekend? Uh, I say it's bittersweet. Like, uh, I'm thankful for being able to All-American dream come true, but um, I just know I had way bigger plans and um, that's not what I wanted to take with eighth place. I'm disappointed at a close match. Those matches, I need a win. Last takedown, I'm in two shots I didn't score. So yeah, it just was disappointing that like I came all this far just to take eighth when I know I could be in the national champ. Like, me and Lucas Davis wrestled. We wrestled second round. I got in a high crotch, that exchange like was the match and so like he's in the finals so just little things I gotta work on I see the little positions that I am in like I got a lot of things working for to next year so I got one more year I'm just thankful. Coming out of high school you, know, you were uh, you kind of came out of nowhere your senior year. Yeah. Uh, you won the Carpenter Classic and then you won some national I think. Uh, no, I took fifth. You placed the yeah. national, won a state title. Yeah. Go to Campbell and uh, you know not traditionally a school that's had you know, heavyweight All-Americans, yeah. and you know, you've gone about your heavyweight All-American for, for Campbell. What do you think got you to that point? Really? Um not being good like a lot of people that I see they're like good since a little kid and like they put so much pressure on themselves and they burn out so like just always like seeing growing up with the good people and I'm like hey I could be like them but like I'm never was there and I'm always trying to catch up and so um really just helped me instead of looking at like I already reached this goal I still had so much to like I just had to worry about the progress and like catching up and so um it really was just a good position to keep me on the grind and stay disciplined and like looking forward to push myself more and more. Yeah, cool. Jay, second All-American yeah. history. What's that mean to you? Uh, it's great. Uh, good feeling. I'm more thankful for the fans. Like I'm glad I got to do it for them. I'm disappointed in myself, but I'm so happy. Like y'all don't understand how many people were rooting for me. How many people were just in my ear telling me to hey, keep going, believe in yourself. So I'm just so thankful for them. Like if it wasn't for them, I don't even know if I would have all American this year. So I'm just happy for them, but I'm disappointed in myself. There's been gradual progression though, yep. all the way along. How have you done that? Uh staying um staying hungry really, not um, settling on taking eighth, not settling on being a state champ, not settling on making it out of high school, getting going to division one. So just always Having another goal and not staying, just um, staying like stagnant, always trying to grow. Hey, can you talk a little bit, a little bit about the uh, blood round match? Being yeah. Nathan Taylor sudden victory, you're pretty emotional. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, that was just the moment that my dreams came true. I really wanted to all American, and um, I was just, it was such a surreal moment. Like my boy Cobra right here. He put in so much work with me. He um been hurt all year, getting taped up every practice. And I, we don't have any heavyweights this year, so he was the only person who went with me. And uh, it was hard on both of us. So, like, I was just so happy for doing it for myself, the fans, the coaches, and just seeing how proud they were of me was so, so great. How did that release feel? Finally, just get the pressure off being All-American. It's been so much pressure of, like, who's going to be the next All-American for Campbell? And so now I don't got to worry about that, the pressure off, and I could just hit the next milestone, national champ. That's awesome. What, what would you say the biggest thing the NCAA tournament has taught you? You said what was the what? The biggest thing the tournament has taught you. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, you're never out of it. Even though that, like, all the odds might seem like you're out of it, you want to quit. It's so easy to quit in this tournament. You lose one, just stay in a bad place. It's hard to fight through it. And so, um, Making it, losing it, and um, just just staying, having faith in God, and that um, anything is possible.